Blessings be upon you. I'm Jawar and welcome to Anlud, the Light. The Okaf International Islamic Symposium recently took place in Johannesburg. Academia from all over Africa came to the University of Johannesburg to debate and discuss various issues and topics relating to Islam. Interesting topics such as the history of colonialism in Africa and gender rights in Islam were some of the draw cards, but what was most impressive was the organization of the event. In today's insert, we take a look at this event and the much-anticipated speech by the Premier of the Western Cape, Ibrahim Rasul. Research Centre for Islamic History, Art and Culture, a subsidiary organisation of the Organisation of Islamic Conference, together with the National Okar Foundation of South Africa and the University of Johannesburg, hosted the International Symposium on Islamic Civilization. The event took place during early September in Johannesburg. I think this, is, this conference, which is a result of cooperation between OIC, Research Center for Islamic History, Art and Culture, IRSICA, and our Car Foundation, the University of Johannesburg, is a good example of the relevance of uh, you asked about, where we are trying to fulfill two objectives. First, to understand better the Muslim cultural identity of people in this country, their cultural heritage and legacy, and in the same time to make this known to the world of Islam and the world at large. And in the same time to bring focus of attention of academic institutions, scholars over the world to this part of the world. Al-Kafis A was established in 2000 to popularize the prophetic Waqaf system and mobilize Waqaf funds. It's also aimed at mobilizing and engaging human resources and to initiate or contribute to a variety of worthwhile, sustainable community development and poverty alleviation projects and programs. Islam is an ethical framework, a way of behaving, a way of relating firstly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then to our fellow believers, and then to the Ahlul Kitab, and then to all of humanity within that generous embrace that comes only from those who possess the quality of Sakina. We mustn't fear ideas, we mustn't fear invention, we mustn't fear innovation, we mustn't fear interacting with the world, we certainly mustn't fear interacting with the other. I'm hoping that that was helpful. Wallahu a'lam. Um, there's no more separation between Islam and the world. Uh, much of what the world is going through has to do with the way in which it treats Muslims and the way in which it understands Islam. And as Premier of the Western Cape, I think we probably have one of the best examples of multiculturalism, of carrying as Muslims multiple identities, 
of being able to be comfortable in our environment, thriving under democracy, and yet being able to reach out to our neighbors, whether they be Christian, Hindu, even Jews in the most difficult of times. And it is more than that, it's a model that is emerging as a best practice for Muslim societies where there are majorities or for Western societies where they have Muslim minorities. And so our story has to be told because the world needs the lessons from our province and from our country. The aim of the symposium was to increase the knowledge of the history and heritage of Islam of all Southern African Muslims and communities. It was also aimed at strengthening affinities and cooperation among Muslim and African nations by producing and disseminating Islam and cultural knowledge. Okaf South Africa is a community-based organization. Its focus is on the institution of Wakaf as an Islamic charitable endowment fund, a community-based charitable endowment fund. Uh, it, uh, the the Okaf South Africa is involved in the three areas mainly. One is the establishment of the Wakaf institution in, in South Africa and Southern Africa. Then it also mobilizes human resources within the community. And thirdly, it engages in several uh, projects and programs that, that are um, focused on community empowerment. The Islamic uh, Symposium or the Symposium on Islamic Civilization in Southern Africa is about getting academics from various parts of the world, particularly Southern Africa and other African countries, to talk on various aspects of Islamic civilization in the Southern African region. And, you know, as you know, the Southern African region is made up of several countries, the SADC region, Z Zambia, Zimbabwe, uh, South Africa, and other countries in this region, including Mozambique, and uh, various papers relating to politics, education, uh, issues around the spread of Islam, gender, uh, Islamic banking, all those uh, part of history as well as future perspectives about Islam in this region. Um, whether we've achieved our objectives of a focused attention to the lessons that South Africa can, can teach, um, I have not seen the final outcome um, of the conference, but I certainly think that the spirit was one of openness. You know, sometimes Muslims um, find themselves in a little bit of trouble, but they are not open enough to admit that uh, we're in trouble and they're not open enough to learn some of the lessons. And I think that maybe that was the spirit that was different. I think uh, this conference will be a turning point in the academic interest vis-a-vis -vis the cultural, uh, uh, cultural legacy of Muslims here, the, the, culture, the living culture of the Muslims and their position in uh, South Africa. So I, I would expect that there will be more of these uh, activities. The symposium hosted over 50 different speakers who have now made their papers and theses readily available. A symposium of this magnitude could yield amazing insights for greater organizational excellence, sustainable follow-ups, and will undoubtedly increase our learning curves in so many respects. What an amazing response to such an extraordinary event. We as an African Muslim should feel really proud. Muslims should equip themselves with modern knowledge and weapons to fight oppression against world power. By gaining knowledge, we can restore former glorious civilizations. In order to gain knowledge, we need to be aware of the guidance of the Holy Quran, study and ask as many questions as possible. Mm -hmm.